A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 28th Feb. On the front page you have toll rises to 38. Delhi limps to normalcy. So now Delhi, the clashes which took place between pro and anti-CA protesters, the death toll in this violence has uh, rose to 38 with 11 more persons succumbing to injuries at various hospitals. So Delhi, however, has now come back to normalcy. Now, the such chief minister has also announced 10 lakh for kin of those killed. 514 have been held for violence. Even an ARP corporator has been charged. So here you have High Court to hear plea for FIRs against BJP leaders on April 13. So the Delhi High Court has adjourned to April 13. So it is four weeks time given for them to file affidavit. It's a petition seeking FIR against three BJP leaders, Anurag Thakur, Kapil Mishra and Parvesh Varma for the alleged hate speeches which resulted in Delhi riots. So the central government and the Delhi police have been given four weeks time to file affidavit on the issue. Then below you have Delhi police were missing. This is what both Hindus and Muslims groups say during the Delhi riots. And here you have inaccurate, says India as criticism mounts. So this is Minister of External Affairs which has condemned widespread international criticism of the Delhi violence as misleading and accurate and inaccurate. It has urged various leaders in US media and the international organizations not to make irresponsible statements on a sensitive front. So statements came from US Commission for International Religious Freedom and several Democrat and Republican leaders in US. This, uh, they spoke of the communal violence since Feb 24 that has left 30, at least 38 people dead. So, this is not uh, to the liking of the government. And here you have Gujral complaints to Shah about apathy of police. So, this is uh, again on the same issue. And this is rock icon Roger Waters who read out lines from Delhi students' poem at London event. So this is Amir, Raz, Amir Aziz who has written a poem called Sab Yaad Rakha Jayega. So this was read out and in the English translation by rock icon Roger Waters. On page 9 you have UP Pollution Control Board body pulled up for Ganga's plight. So this is Central Pollution Control Board which has pulled up UP Pollution Control Board for its inability to prevent drains in Kanpur from polluting the Ganga. Some of these drains were tabbed under cleaning works under the Namami Gange program. But it has been seen, the two had been jointly monitoring 24 drains, two in Unnav and 22 in Kanpur since March 2019. And drains that revealed high color from chemical effluents or biological oxygen demand and dissolved oxygen, which are indicator of uh, microbial presence, they were to be cleaned and errant municipal bodies or industries, industrial units were to be fined or phased shut down. But you can see the action was not taken. So that's why the UP Pollution Control Board has been pulled up. And it has been asked to expedite surveillance of tanneries responsible for the discharge. You can see how huge fines have been there, placed on them. And UP accounts for 75% of the pollution load in Ganga. And city has been allotted 1000 crore. That is more than any other city under the 20,000 crore Namami Ganga program. Then this is India evacuates 112 people from China, 124 from Japan. So you can see evacuation of Indian nationals from Wuhan started off. They were brought back to India. Swillen Aircraft evacuated 119 Indian nationals and five foreign citizens. Two were from Sri Lanka, one from Nepal, South Africa and Peru. They were quarantined on board the cruise ship Diamond Princess docked off Yokohama in Japan. So then they were, the civilian aircraft evacuated them. So this is there. So all the evacuees will undergo 14 day quarantine at the facility set up by the army in Manesar too. So even Indian Air Force has announced that it will bring back 76 national, it has brought back 76 national and 36 foreigners from Wuhan after delivering 15 tons of medical cargo to the Chinese authorities. And now concerns are also there in Iran and Indian civilians in Iran also 
want to be evacuated from there because of the coronavirus outbreak. And this is India to carry out projects in Rakhine. So this is Rakhine province of Myanmar, which is considered the homeland of Rohingya community. So India will carry out more development projects in the Rakhine province. So this was a decision taken during the visit of Myanmar president to India. He was on a four day visit to India. So 12 projects in Rakhine are being proposed under the second phase of Rakhine state development program. And this is part of the Mekong Ganga MGC mechanism, multinational uh, grouping mechanism. Then this is Lockheed to deliver 6 MH60R copters in 2021. So Lockheed Martin will deliver these multi-role helicopters to Navy in 2021 and the order would be completed by 2025. This is a 2.2 billion dollar worth deal which was signed during US President Donald Trump's visit. On the editorial page, the first editorial is virus marches on. So this is regarding the rapid spread of, coron rapid spread of coronavirus, COVID-19, outside China, which is a cause for concern. So even World Health Organization has spoken about it, how the virus is spreading. So from, you know, highest cases have been from China, and then even Iran and South Korea have number of cases and deaths too, which are of serious concern. So the spread in Southeast Asian nations is taking place. And here you have a browning east. So this is regarding climate change, how climate change impacts warming for eastern guards. And this means that we need to protect our forests. So how in the western ghats it is said are the crown jewels of india's natural heritage eastern ghats spread across 75000 square kilometers from odisha to southern tamil nadu play an important dual role fostering biodiversity and storing energy in trees so with concerns of climate change protecting the eastern ghats becomes very important then the lead article is Hope, belief, and candles of Shahin Bhan. So, this talks about mobs and rulers masquerading as leaders cannot be allowed to dismantle a marvelously democratic experiment. So, there have been peaceful protests going on in Shahin Bhan. So, here we have not seen any violence, any riots. So it talks about this Shahin Bhan protest. And here you have Aadhar. No standout performer in welfare delivery. So, Aadhaar based biometric authentication has not reduced PBS leakages, is what a Jharkhand based empirical study has found. And on the OPED page, you have this on Fridays, you have Pale coverage where a question is raised. So, this is what should India's joint command structure look like? So we have appointed a chief of defense staff to have jointness in the armed forces, which will be the head for the army, navy, and air force. So how should it be? How should a structure be? Is discussed here. So chief of defense staff must spell must spell out India's strategic interests as a as part of a vision document. Is what has been um, argued here. So this is regarding the issues in South Sudan, two rivals coming together to form a unity government here. So the fragile hope for peace here in South Sudan in Africa. On page 12 you have BJP cornered 78% of donations to parties. So the party got 742 crore rupees out of the 951 crore donations which came according to Association for Democratic Reforms analysis of contributors of over 20,000 in 2018 -19. And uh, this is India gets invite for US Taliban deal event. So India has been invited to witness the ceremony to seal the peace deal between US and Taliban in Qatari capital Doha. So India being allowed and mean made to participate in this uh, significant event is important because we have our stake in Afghanistan and Pakistan has been playing a key role as a facilitator between Afghan Taliban and the US, so Taliban being given a prominent role, India feels left out, but here we have been given because it's our neighborhood, Afghanistan. So we are also 
here been invited which is important on international page you have uk threatens to pull out of eu trade talks so this is boris johnson government which has rejected eu demand for common trading standards and, and continued fishing rights so now uk is even threatening after brexit to pull out of trade talks with european union so do the two have separated ways britain and the european union but they need to have a trade deal for future relations and now uk is threatening here too under boris johnson and then here you have a big calls for closure of all schools in japan over virus so to prevent the spread of infection among children schools are being closed in J japan then on business page you have telco seek help on priority basis so telecom companies are seeking adjustment of gst credit in agr dues and doing away with bank guarantees too so that they can pay up the adjusted gross revenue dues so that is it these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you